So you want to create dynamic reports with your historian data in Microsoft Excel? It's easier than you think. I'm Kathleen McKenna. I'm an information developer here at GE Digital, and I'm going to show you how to set up the Historian Excel add-in. Now before we begin for this video, I'm going to be connecting to Historian 7.0 server using Microsoft Excel 2016. So there are three steps. Step one is run the Excel add-in installer. Step two is enable the Historian add-in in Microsoft Excel. And step three is configure the add-in. So step one, run the Excel add-in. From the install menu, you're going to click install Excel add-in. The Excel add-in as well as the historian and client tools will get installed. Just wait for it to complete. There's no confirmation message, but you'll see that 100% here in the dialog box is closed. Now for step two, enable the historian add-in in Microsoft Excel. From Excel in the file menu, you're going to click options and then go to the options dialog box and then click add-ins. And from over here, click go. Now in this dialog box, you're going to click both the Prophecy Historian add-in and the Prophecy Historian helper, and then click OK. You must have both enabled. After a few moments, you'll see the Prophecy Historian tab added right here. Now step three, configure the add-in. From the Historian tab, click Options. Now usually you leave most of these defaults except for default server. You're going to click Edit here, and you're going to enter the name of your server and click Add. You need to be able to connect to the server to be able to add it. And then you're going to click OK. Now one more thing on this screen. Optionally, you may want to clear the connected startup options. So a connection is made only when you do a query. Um, but that's optional. And then you're just going to click OK. Now a simple example, we're going to test that we could do a query. So you're going to go here and you're going to click Tags. And then click Search and Search again. And select a tag name from the simulation collector. And you're going to move it here. And then click OK. All right, and then from here you're going to select tag name and then click OK and you'll see it get added here. Next you're going to click current value and in this dialog box in the tag name field select the cell that you just added and then in the output display field click timestamp value and quality fields control click and then click the output field and then click OK. You'll see the values get populated here you can press F9 to update the query to any time. You can also edit the tag name right here. This concludes our product walkthrough. Thank you again for watching.